Hi, I'm Nick from Magloft, and in this video, I'm super excited to introduce you to Flex PDF, which is a new tool that the team at Magloft has created to help publishers transition and convert their PDF content to responsive HTML content. So in this video, I'll show you briefly how you get started with Flex PDF and how you can use it with your Magloft account. So I'm on here flexpdf.com. That's where you'll go to launch the tool. You'll get a notification to allow local storage. It's just the way that we work with PDFs on your hard drive. It won't uh, give access to any of your files or anything like that. So that is a requirement in order to use Flex PDF. And really the first thing you want to do is you want to either log in or create an account. If you don't have a Magloft account, you don't know what Magloft is, you can just create a free account and that will give you 100 credits. If you just use it anonymously, you can get 10 credits. So you can still try it out, uh, but you get 100 credits when you create a free account. We'll talk about credits in a little bit. So essentially, it's a, uh, a three-step process. You upload a PDF, and then you use our extractor to take out the elements and put them into an HTML format. You can create multiple articles doing this way. And then finally, you can export it. And uh, currently, uh, at the time of this recording, you export it to Magloft, where you can post-process it using the type loft editor to really make your content stand out. So let's just go ahead, I'll browse a file here, I'll find a PDF, start converting it. And here you'll see the conversion overview. So there's 40 pages in this PDF. I have 100 credits and that will just show me that it will take or subtract 40 credits. And here is the conversion process. So after you add your PDF, you're launched into the workspace here. On the left, you have all your PDF pages. In the middle here, you have the selected PDF page that you're working on. And on the right-hand side, you have the mobile view and the different articles that you're working on. So as for covers, they're a little bit tricky. So I want to introduce you to a tool we call Snipe. And this will allow you to drag a selection of a page just to take a screenshot of it. This is very handy for complex tables and other things like that. But you can also do Snipe the whole page. So I'll just click there and it will grab that whole cover and put it on here. And a really good tip is to build out content underneath. Uh, it could be your table of contents that you start. So you could just do also in this issue, I'll click, click. You can see there's a bit of a formatting problem, but that will give you like a full page with a little bit of a scroll, which is totally normal um, for mobile users instead of just having this cover and then some blank space. But we'll go ahead and create a new article. So you can just click here and it will create a new article and it will jump to the next page. So we will do this article here, just as an example. Uh, you can click in every single element here. Uh, we could maybe take the, the graphic, it's quite small. Put the heading, uh, this column of text, then the image, then the image title, and then this other column of text. So you could do that and you can also move it around. Let's say you really want the two columns of text to follow along because uh, you just move this arrow up here, arrow up, now you have the two columns and then the, the graphic below. So there are different ways that you can do this in here to just rearrange it around. I'll create another article and then we'll scroll down to a different one. We'll try this one here. Uh, we have a very experimental feature, which is I'm feeling lucky. Now what this will do is if I click once, it will just attempt to convert the entire page as best as it can. And uh, this is obviously something that we will be improving over time. But you can see here now I can follow along and it shows that that was that graphic. And if I click here, I get the heading. So I could continue on and just to double check that it actually got everything in here. It's clever enough to say, you know, let's put these two columns together. And then obviously there are like smaller things here like page uh, numbers and things. I could just get rid of those real quick. I don't want them in my content. So there's the image and then that was basically that whole page just with one click. Uh, if I want to continue on this article because it looks like it's a continuation, I just click to the next page. Then I make sure that my selection is at the bottom because every time you click, it will go underneath whatever is selected. So now I'm at the bottom, it's selected and I can continue. I'll get these two columns in then I'll get this title, this image and this title or image text and I'll leave the rest as is. That's pretty much it. So you can do a whole page at a time or you can click in elements and that's the essential of Flex PDF. Once you have that, you can now export this to your Magloft account. 
So in another tab here, I'm already logged into my account. So if you go and log into Magloft and then go to flexpdf.com, it will recognize you and, and automatically log you in. Uh, so I will export this issue and you can see I have a lot of publications in my account demo. And then I will create a new issue, create this issue. And then uh, you can give it a rating, just kind of like what went well, what didn't go well. Uh, we would really love to hear your feedback. What are the biggest pitfalls or, or barriers for you to start adopting a tool like this? So please do let us know like if it was a specific page that didn't convert or if there was something on a specific page that uh, Flex PDF didn't pick up. Please do let us know. So I'll just write here, so far, so good. And I'll submit that. This will go right to the Maglop team for review. And then what I'd like to do next is, I'd actually like to launch the editor. So I'll click here. And you'll see it takes me straight into my account in Maglop. It takes me straight into the editor. And here I'd be able to, obviously I wanted to fix this table of contents and I can swipe through the different pages and I can just kind of see. So it's very raw format right now. So for example, if you wanted to mimic the PDF, you could take this text and drag it up to the right of this text. So you have the two columns in a tablet view because in a phone view, it would always collapse. That's the, the benefit of responsive HTML. And maybe you'd want to have this image at the very top or at the very bottom. So there's a lot you can do in Typeloft and we'll have another video for that. But essentially, I just wanted to show you how you could use your PDF. You could extract content into this view here, create different articles and then export it straight into Typeloft. And if you exit Typeloft, you'll see that in my demo publication, I now have a Flex PDF demo issue and that's where it put it from Flex PDF. So I hope that was um, a good intro for you in order for um, using your actual account. So this is the editor view. If you go back using this arrow here, you'll be able to see the different PDF files that you upload. You'll be able to have a look at your account. So here you can see your credits, uh, you can recharge, you can see what you have spent, etc. And if you want to go back into the editor, there's always this arrow back so you can go back here. So this is the, the PDF that we're currently working on. I can just click on it and I'm straight back into the editor. And that is basically how it works today. So we're very excited, the team of Magloff. There's a, a live chat here you can always use if you have any questions about Flex PDF. We're standing by to answer them and help you out. And we'd love to hear what you think so far. So please do let us know. And um, thanks for watching and hope you enjoy using Flex PDF.